What's up YouTube today? We're going to take a look at lead code problem number 183, customers who never order. Mark this easy. Let's get straight into it. So the question states, suppose that a website contains two tables, the customers table and the orders table. Write a SQL query to find all customers who never order anything. So we have two tables, customers, orders, customers has ID and name, orders has ID and customers ID. Pretty easy to confuse ID here. So customer ID in orders refers to ID in customers. And then there's another ID in orders, which we're probably not gonna use. And using the above tables as example, we should return the following output, Henry and Max, because they're in the customer table, but not in the orders table. I'm gonna go through two approaches in this video, one using left join and one using not in. And if you look at this problem statement and the explanation I just gave, which is we have something in one table but not in the other one, you should probably always think of a left join first. And that's what we're going to start with. So looking at the example input and output, we have customers Joe, Henry, Sam and Max, their ID and we have custom ID in orders. So we know we have custom ID 3 and 1 in orders and 3 and 1 refers to Sam and Joe, which we can look up in the customers table. So Joe and Sam had an order, Henry and Max not because they don't show up in the orders table. And that should be our output. So let's start writing some code. We're going to first select everything from customers and orders. And as I said, we're going to join that on the ID and custom ID. Because as I said, custom ID refers to the ID in customers. You see that quite a lot. And we also have another ID for orders. Yes, so if we run that query, we get a simple join of these two tables. As you can see, we're just going to join Joe and Sam because only they have a match in orders. So we don't get the information for Henry and Max, which is why we're going to use a left join. That means we're going to take all the information from the left table as so our input or folder first table we mentioned, in this case customers, and we're going to join all the information for these rows that we find in orders. So Joe, Henry, Sam and Max are our customers and we're going to search for new information in orders and append that to the row if we find something. If we don't find anything, we're still going to list them but we don't have more information and how that looks is best represented by just running code right now and looking at the output. So we have Joe, Henry, Sam and Max, all customers. And for Joe, we have an ID and customer ID because we have a match in orders. For Henry, we have null values because we didn't have any matches in orders. Um, same thing for Max. And for Sam, we had a match. So we don't have a match for Henry and Max and they have null values because we couldn't match anything. And if we just filter on these null values, we could reduce our output to these two customers. So we're gonna check whether customer ID is null, because customer ID only appears in orders. ID is used in both of these, so it's a bit ambiguous. But that way we can check if there has been a match in the second table, and that hasn't been the case. So if we run that code right now, we get an output for Henry, and max and their response of null values for ID and custom ID from orders. So in order to get to our final solution, we're just gonna select their name because that's all we should output. And we should call that field customers. So if we run that query, we get our expected result and that is the answer to the question. But there's another way of doing that and we're gonna go take a look at that one right now. So for this approach, we're just going to look up whether a customer or their ID shows up in customer ID in the second table, which is quite similar to what we did right here. So we're going to select name as customer again from our table customers. And now we introduce our condition using not in. So we want the ID from customer to not be in the orders table. So we're gonna select 
customer ID from the orders table. We need to use select customer ID because customer ID of orders refers to the ID in customer. So if we run that query, we also get an output of Henry and Max. I just had a little typo here as customer and not customers. And that should give us the correct output as well. That has been quite easy. And if we submit, we get an accepted result as well. But I think people are going to be more impressed if you use a left join because you're going to use it more in other scenarios as well. There might be some performance increases as well. So I would definitely take a look at learning left joins or right joins. Right join would just be in the opposite way of a left join, but doing the same thing pretty much. And that has been two solutions to this problem. If you want to follow along and study more problems, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go through all the code problems and solve them using SQL. So just stick around if you want to follow along and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.